92L and invest spinning over the Bahamas has tropical characteristics, may in fact become a depression, but there's only a 20% chance that that happens over the next two days, a 30% chance that happens over the next five days. So bottom line, what that means is after it crosses the Florida Peninsula, it'll have a better chance once it gets into the very warm bathtub-like waters of the Gulf of forming. Weak area of low pressure, but enough tropical characteristics that it will yield to some heavy downpours for us starting late tonight and into tomorrow. Uh, there's a 24-hour window for recon to get into it, so possibly this afternoon the hurricane hunters will fly into this area of low pressure. Here's what you need to know. Starting later this afternoon and into tonight and tomorrow, there will be pockets of heavy rain likely with this because it's really just moving so slow, 5 to 10 miles an hour to the west. So that means that the storms associated with it, the downpours will be slow movers as well, just dousing us with tropical type rain. Gusty winds, a possibility embedded in those storms. Rip currents will be elevated, rough seas, and possibility of funnel clouds. All the things you see with any sort of tropical system, whether it just be an area of low pressure, a depression, or a storm. We're going to see it starting tomorrow. Isolated showers offshore this morning. They've been basically breaking apart before they hit the ground, but still a bit unsettled today. Mostly cloudy. Tomorrow's by, uh, tomorrow morning when this low is on our doorstep. We're going to see the heavier rains starting at about 5 and lasting through the morning hours by daybreak. That daybreak, that center of circulation is right over West Palm. And then it starts to move, as you can see, into the Gulf of Mexico, and we'll see if it develops there. But we're still going to be dealing with some moisture. That's why I told Stephanie it's going to be kind of a mess. I mean, if she gets lucky, uh, hit and miss storm activity over the weekend, and it will be better certainly than the next two days, but still a trough of low pressure could mean some intermittent rain. We see the heavier stuff moving on in as we head throughout the late afternoon hours into tonight, spotty activity, and then more so throughout the day tomorrow, we'll see the downpours. Right now, temperatures are in the low 70s when you wake up. It's humid out there, 78 out at PBIA, 79. A good Thursday morning, Boca Raton. Highs today, 88 or 89, with a cloud-sun mix, but more clouds than not. It looks like a 60% coverage of storms, but those are mainly late during the day. East winds are going to remain light, so this uh, tropical low will really not bring too much in the way of winds, so that's the good news. Tropical disturbance 91L is the one we've been talking about all week. It's still 750 miles to the west of the Cape Verde Islands. 80% chance, though, it becomes Edward, our next tropical storm, over the next five days. But the spaghetti plots have it just going out to sea, so no concern for the U.S. mainland. Don't think that's going to change too much. Boaters, not a great day. We mentioned this yesterday to get your boating in because seas are going to start to deteriorate. Two to three foot seas. I mean, not horrible out there, but just not the safest. A light chop. Sun is up this morning at 7.04 and we'll set at 7.28. Here's your weather rate most accurate seven day forecast. Highest rain chances really tomorrow. Uh, hit and miss stuff. Saturday and Sunday. So a bit unsettled, not the best. If Stephanie is lucky, she'll get her engagement photos in. I just don't know about being on the boat. That part of it's a little iffy. So I'm doing it. back to you. <laughs> I'm doing it. I don't care. Only Stephanie <laughs> and Michael. <laughs> back to you.